Hi, today we're going to look at the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 10, and we'll be reading verses 38 through 42. Let us hear the word of the Lord. Now as they went on their way, he entered a certain village, where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. She had a sister named Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to what he was saying. But Martha was distracted by her many tasks. So she came to him and asked, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you're worried and distracted by many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen a better part which will not be taken away from her. Today, as we hear the word of the Lord and the gospel of St. Luke, we are reminded to keep our focus upon him. But as we read in the gospel of Luke, we see that Luke continues, as is his tradition, to keep a focus on the important role that women play in the church. Luke did not ignore women as some may in the gospel writings, but Luke in particular paid great attention to the role of the woman in God's church. Mary and Martha in our text today offered Jesus hospitality, both in different ways. Mary spends her time at the feet of Jesus. Martha, in the meantime, is cooking and is worried about getting everything ready to make her Lord comfortable. And as Martha is busy doing this, she becomes worried that her sister is not helping her as she would expect her to do. That would have been customary for the women to prepare the meal to make Jesus comfortable physically, but yet Mary stepped outside of that role. She stepped outside of the traditional task for a woman. And as Martha complains, Jesus basically tells her, don't worry about it. Your sister has chosen that, which is truly more important. Jesus in this instance, affirms what Mary is doing by sitting at his feet, by having a theological discussion. And as Jesus affirms that, it's important for us to realize and recognize that he is putting a stamp on a different role for the woman, going beyond tradition that Jesus is saying, it's okay for Mary to do this, for she has chosen, again, the more important thing. That Mary was not willing to be defined by her role, as was tradition in that time. Mary and Martha were both focused on the needs of Jesus. They were just focused on different things. Many will judge one over the other, and, and biblically we see the, the role of Martha being what was traditional. And we see that Mary challenges tradition, and she challenges it in a good way by sitting at the feet of Jesus to learn more to discuss theology. Nothing wrong with what she had done, and really nothing wrong with what Martha had done by preparing a meal and by having her focus on what would have been tradition. But maybe Martha should have stepped outside her tradition as well. But in those days, women pretty much had their role. And Martha was not ready or comfortable stepping out beyond that.
But Jesus came to revolutionize the world. He came to change things. And boy, he did change things. And Mary responded to that change by going beyond the norm, by going beyond what society expected of her. Just as we would hope women at a church of today would do as well. The passage today challenges us to look at what we are truly focused upon today. To challenge us to see if we're really focused on Jesus, upon God the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. And so today we're looking at a couple points. The first, are we distracted? We see that Martha was a bit distracted by the many tasks before her to be a proper hostess. All the place settings, all the food to be cooked, making sure the place was clean, making sure that Jesus and any other guest were taken care of. Her focus was on that which was traditional. What Martha was doing was not bad in and of itself. It was what she was used to doing. It's what was acceptable in her day. But yet, it may have been a distraction, just like we are distracted by some of the mundane things of this world. Yes, things have to be done, but our priorities must be upon Jesus, must be upon the Word of God. We as Christians sometimes lose focus on what truly is important. We as a church at times lose our focus on what's important. We focus upon those things that creep into our mind, those worries that come along, those things that Satan will use to keep us from becoming more spiritual. We get distracted by things of the day. We sometimes will sacrifice our spiritual life to do those mundane things. We get distracted and forget to read our Bible the way we should. We lose our prayer time, our communion time with God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We need to maintain our focus upon that which really matters. Or we might just take the wrong turn and miss the straight and narrow that leads to heaven. And so first in our text, we see that sometimes we get distracted. Yes, Martha was basically distracted from the spiritual things that were going on around her. But secondly, we must be determined. Mary was quite determined. She was determined that the norms of society would not hold her back. She was going to sit at the feet of Jesus. She knew her time would be limited to do this. She knew that the days would pass by rather quickly before Jesus would be taken to the cross. And so Mary took advantage of this time. She redeemed the day, just as we are called to redeem the day. Mary did not allow the traditional role assignment to interfere with her spiritual life. She stayed focused on being with Jesus, on taking in all that she could and learning all that she could from him. As Jesus said, Mary chose the better part. We must be determined to be like Mary to sit at the feet of Jesus, to soak in all that we can of his teachings. Each of us has to decide where our focus will be. 
each of us has to decide how we're going to redeem our time. We must be focused on what really matters. Let me close with a, a story that I read about a couple soldiers who had been prisoners of war in World War II. At the close of the war, and as the prisoners were being sent back home, this group of soldiers were preparing to board a ship to get ready to go home. But a storm was brewing and coming into the ports. And they only had limited space on the ship and not all the soldiers would fit. The others would have to wait until who knows when. But as they were preparing to enter the ship, these two soldiers who had been prisoners of war together who had served side by side before that were getting ready to enter the ship, but there's only room for one of them. And one was chosen to board the ship. And what this soldier did was quite remarkable because he stayed focused on what really mattered. He took his duffel bag and he dumped all his personal belongings, all that which would seem to be important to him on the ground. And he looked at his friend and he says, get in. His friend was a little puzzled by that, but he wanted to go home too. He wanted to go home right then with his friend. So he climbed into the duffel bag and his friend hoisted him up on his shoulders in the duffel bag and carried him on to the ship. Therefore showing us what really mattered was the life of another, the difference that we can make in helping others. There are moments in life that truly reveal what matters most to each of us. In this story, we saw what really mattered more to that soldier. It was his friend, not his personal possessions. And sometimes in life, we, we get hit with some difficult things, don't we? Sometimes our families go through some rough patches and we've got to make a choice. What are we going to do? What really matters? And I'm thankful for those of you who have made choices, a personal sacrifice, and determine what really matters. And that is helping one another. And for the believer, yes, we're called to help one another. And we are also called to focus on spiritual things, on those things that moth and rust cannot corrupt, on those things, those treasures that we lay up in heaven. Today, are you focused upon God in your life? Are you focused upon making a difference in God's world, in God's kingdom? I pray that each of us stays focused on Jesus. My friends, it's been good sharing with you today. And may the God of all love and mercy be with you. May he provide you hope and courage. May he give you strength. May his promises abound in you. And may you stay focused on what he has to offer to you. Amen. And may God bless you and keep you until we meet again.